Hi Aquarius, this is Crystal Rose of Comfy Soul and I'm here to do your reading. So I'm going to start with the Tarot of Sexual Magic and then I'm going to finish with the Archetype Cards by Carolyn Mace. And that deck is going to um, highlight the light attributes and the shadow attributes of what you're going through. So it'll tell you if you're heading in the right direction with how you're healing. It'll also tell you if you are um, in your shadow work and need to... Um, work through what you're resisting so that you can move forward. And I'm going to do that for both you and the person and or situation on the opposite side. So you can see kind of how everything works together because I'm a shadow worker and that's how I do this thing is highlight um, the bigger picture, like what's really going on, what it looks like in the grand scheme. I kind of like an insight to God's plan, right? Okay. Um, and I give it to you in baby steps so you don't like freak out, like taking down the whole fire hose of information, like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> maybe that's because you're an aqua that I use the fire hose, like too much water, too much emotion, too much information. Okay. Um, let's go. Okay, I see you diligently working on something. You're making your coin. You're taking care of yourself. You do have... Um, you've made a stable effort in the direction of, of like showing your passion, how you feel, what you, how you want to connect with somebody. Like you're putting it out there, right? You're not being shy. You're showing up, okay? I like that. Plotting, planning, moving forward. Um, now, the other thing that you want is... So, you're a little emotionally distant right now because I think that you... Let me show you what emotional distance looks like. I will fuck you, but I'm not going to romance you. That's what emotional distance looks like. I'll get into bed with you, but I'm not going to act like I know you at you know family breakfast tomorrow. <laughs> um, it's too distant. It's not treating it like this is my person and I love them so much and here's how I honor them and put them on a pedestal for everyone to see. That's what you're looking for. Um, we have a Knight of Cups. You're looking for romance. I don't think you're getting it. I don't think they're speaking up and showing up in the passionate way that you're hoping to have romance show up. You want something that's more more. Um, you've been hurt. There's some heartache here. This is a very sad, broken energy where you didn't hear everything that you wanted to hear. It's like, it's almost like somebody just doing enough to be in your good graces. It's someone, you know what? I, I have to highlight. If you can hear the energy, the, I mean the energy, if you can hear What's going on? I have the window open. So do you hear that beeping, that backup tone? It looks like a tow truck is dumping off a car at one of the neighbor's house. Um, somebody's car broke down. But this is you backing it up from where you were with, before with this person. So here they are maybe wanting to play a tune for you and you're like, yeah, whatever. You're just playing to play. That's not for me. It doesn't mean anything. And you know what? You're not wrong. You're not entirely wrong. Okay, so, I mean, obviously there's a reason you feel this way. You want someone who's committed and going to do the work towards you. You don't want a lazy lover is what I'm hearing. Um, the guess who, these eyes just came on. You gave a promise to me and you broke it. These eyes watched you bring my world to an end. This heart could not accept and pretend the hurting on me and I will never be free. You took the vow with me. So, yeah, this is somebody who kind of like, I'm here, I'm for you, I'm this, I'm that. And then they never really acted like they were all in and committed in that way. Whether or not, I don't see that you're necessarily asking for them to like marry you and do this in front of everybody. Although that would be a great way for them to show that they're seriously committed and, and, and are vulnerable enough to do this. Um, you just really want them to be m more alive. I'm just hearing more alive. You want somebody who 
doesn't make you question if they're connected to you or not or how long they're going to stick around or why they left themselves and out, right? Okay, so person on the other side is actually coming at you in a more romantic way. They actually, I think that they were afraid of losing you and they didn't want you to know how attached to you they were. And so until other people started getting their eyeballs on you, I don't think they felt like they had to fight more because it would be too vulnerable of them to share feelings and tell you how much they liked you, but now they kind of have to fight for you because other people are looking and you're looking good and you're off and running to go do whatever you got to do to be with somebody who shows you that they love you, right? They're expecting a little conflict, a little drama, but on their way to happiness, this might be worth it to them. But they're pretty sure they're going to get some conflict from you and that you're not going to entirely like believe the words they're saying. Um, why is that? The tower. Hmm. They got too far away to where now they have to do a lot more work. They were like, oh shit, my world's falling apart. It's kind of like if you ask them to move out or you just said, I'm going to start dating. We're not together. We're not married. We're not committed. I'm just going to go move on. I'm going to go do something else. And they were like, oh fuck. <laughs> so they don't want to see you with somebody else. So they're willing to have a, com a, a conversation with you. Look, baby, look, hold on, slow down. Don't burn all these bridges. Hold up. We've been together a minute. Like, don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. Like, I'm not a bad guy, right? So they're like negotiating with you. <laughs> is there a negotiation? I don't know. Okay, what, 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 is, what is this about? They've just spent so much time with you. They don't want to lose you. Um, I feel like they have enough adoration for the situation for what you guys have built up together. But they do realize that even though you've been together a minute, that they still have kind of left you crying, right? They're not all there with you. You're not fulfilled passionately. And this isn't just sexual. This is being so connected to someone that you're creating things together and you're not getting bored and you're doing something with a purpose. You're not just going to work and coming home. Otherwise, what happens when you retire, right? You have to have more in your life. Uh, so maybe you could be empty nesters too. You don't have kids or the kids left or something like that, right? There is a connection they do like what you've built together. There is a decent, you know, it's not all the way to like, oh my God, I want to show you off. But they know between you and them that there's something and it's good, right? Um, they're trying to get the strength to do something. So let's look at that before I switch over to the archetype deck. The rubber band man is on by the spinners. When he finally reached his goal, hey, y'all prepare yourself for the rubber band man. You've never heard a sound like the rubber band man. You're bound to lose control when the rubber band starts to jam. Got that rubber band up on his toes and then he wiggled it up all around his nose, guaranteed to blow your mind. This is like a dude who's got you running around in his energy. You're the, like playing with the rubber band. <laughs> He's going to make a comeback is basically how I'm taking this. Like, watch him come and go and come again. And he never goes anywhere because he's a rubber band. He snaps right back. But you didn't want him to just be there and snap back. You wanted something real, right? I, don't, I mean, I hope you understand. I'm trying to express like a depth, a depth of connection, not just a surface. Oh, yeah, we're together and everybody knows. Like, I take a bullet for you and I, and I want you to know that. That's what you're looking for. Okay, um... One more for why they need to be strong. Oh, because they need to commit to you in a more, they're only half committed. They're only half in, but they know they need to put both feet in and possibly marry you. Or at the very least, like name on the house, if they want to get anything out of it from your old age or if something happens, if they want to be protected and they want to have anything to their name in being in this relationship with you, like knowing that they're going to be taken care of and your siblings or an ex or 
it's whoever isn't going to get their pension or something, right? Um, they need to make it legit. They need to make it official. They need to be committed. You need something a little more legal so that they're, they're protected too, right? So their emotional avoidance is keeping them small in a financial way. It's all there for them. All they have to do is step up and be more responsible, be, be a big boy, be a big girl, and commit a little more, and everything's there. It's all settled, right? I like that. It's kind of cool. It's an easy answer, right? I mean, not if you're the person that's avoiding, but... You know, hopefully they've come to an age where they realize, I, I'm not going anywhere. I really love this person, so why can't I commit? Like, what am I afraid of? So that's what I think they're doing, right? Let me look at you. And then one more for them. Everyday people, Sly and the Family Stone. Sometimes I'm right and I can be wrong. My own beliefs are in my song. Butcher, the banker, the drummer, and then makes no difference what group I'm in. I am everyday people. There is a blue one who can't accept the green one for living with a fat one, trying to be a skinny one. Different strokes for different folks, and so on and so on, and scooby dooby doo Oh, Shaw Shaw, we got to live together. I am no better, and neither are you. We are the same whatever we do. Love me, you hate me, you know me, and then you can't figure out the bag I'm in. See, this is someone who's kind of like, are you in? All right. Okay, okay. Child orphan. So they're leaving you orphaned. This is the feeling. They're leaving you feeling like, I did all this for what? For me to still die alone? Like no commitment? Like, come on. All right, let me look at the light attribute. So if you're headed in the right direction, you sound like this. Independence based on learning to go it alone, conquering fear of surviving. So you're not worried about having another partner there to know that you're going to make it. You're making it. You're doing it. You're doing it for yourself. So you're independent. And that's why you will never be abandoned because you're taking care of you. All right, shadow attributes. So if you're headed in the wrong direction or this is what you're hanging on to, we got to let this go, right? Feelings of abandonment that stifle maturation, seeking inappropriate surrogate family. So this is forcing someone or something to be in your life or hanging on to it for the idea that at least I'm not alone, right? Not worth it. Okay, them. Companion. Sounds good so far. Light attribute. Loyal, loyalty, tenacity, and unselfishness. So this is someone who's genuinely there for you, being a pal. You can talk to them. They're your ride or die. This is, a, this is how they should show up, right? The shadow attribute, if they're still holding back, betrayal by misusing confidences, loss of personal identity. So this is someone who is going along with whatever you want just so they can stay safe or somebody who is like making you feel like you're really close because they're sharing secrets or something. That's just gossip, yo. That's not connection. Okay. And mediator. Uh, I got two cards for them in case I didn't mention that. Um, light attributes, the gift for negotiating fairness in strategy and personal and professional life, respect for both sides of an argument. So this is working with you. This isn't saying, um, I'll pay for this, but you have to blah, blah, blah. This is really working it out and getting on the same board and agreeing. This is how we're going to do it. Couple together, right? The shadow Negotiating with an ulterior motive or hidden agenda, either personally or professionally. So some kind of way of keeping their money safe, themselves safe, giving a little, keeping a lot, that kind of thing, right? So you'll know how they're showing up and if it's safe for you or not, okay? Um, the song changed, Baby Love, The Supremes. Baby love, my baby love, why must we separate, my love? All of my whole life through, I've never loved no one but you. Why you do me like you do? I get this need, need to hold you once again, my love, feel your warm embrace. So you need connection. You need, you need romance. You need romance. You can't just be with somebody who's like a roommate. I'm going to leave it there. I think you got the message. Thank you so much for being here. If you'd like to purchase the decks or get a private reading, there's links down below. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.